The trainees have settled into the Isha Hatha Yoga teacher training program and are getting into the routine of twice a day Hatha Yoga sessions. The trainees have recently begun the practice of Surya Kriya, a potent yogic process of tremendous antiquity. The way it was taught so systematically, so step by step, so you don't even miss a single thing. It was almost ingrained into you, uh, into your body. So for me, it was really amazing. I think Surya Kriya is so sacred in the sense that the practice itself took me to a space inside me that I didn't know was there. It definitely stabilizes me. I feel very stable when I'm practicing it regularly. But I do the Surya Kriya and I'm buzzing and I'm awake and I'm ready to take on the day. It's just the most phenomenal thing that Sadhguru's given us. The group also went for a walk last week to a nearby village farm that gave them a complete view of the Vilingiri Mountains. This was also a good opportunity for them to get to know one another, with many of them coming from various countries and backgrounds. I think the best part of the training is uh, this uh, curiosity uh, as to what comes next. Well, when we went for a walk, we were a whole bunch of 132 people going together, just kind of great energy, just, you know, chatting, getting to know each other, getting to know what, where everyone was from properly. It's really nice to get out um, and go out into nature, the beautiful surrounding of the, of the ashram, and just have a walk uh, like we did the other day when we went to that big tree, big old tree. We had a little tree climbing competition as well, so that was fun. I think these little surprises is what makes this so special. Later in the week, the volunteers prepared a surprise moonlight dinner for the group. A variety of specially prepared food was served with sounds of Isha adding some magical melody to the evening. The other night um, they organized like this beautiful, beautiful outdoor dinner. They had little pizzas, they had even little um, vegetarian burgers. Seeing all those happy faces, just enjoying the food, and, um, just being in the atmosphere, being with all these people together, um, was like a candlelight dinner. Uh, yeah, I just enjoyed it, I loved it. And of course, I was talking to some of, uh, some of the other guys just the day before about, about chocolate and how everybody's craving for, for chocolate. So as if they could, could read our minds, they had a huge uh, amount of mousse au chocolat prepared for us. So it was really, really nice and everybody basically that evening was just mesmerizing about that mousse au chocolat.